k times k plus 1 divisible by 6. What do you mean does it have 2 and 3? 1 k is odd. Well, I guess let's try some, some numbers. You can test 1, 3, 5, and 7. Never skip around. Test four consecutive odd numbers if you're going to do it. In this case, 1 times 8, 3 times 10, 30, that is. 5 times, uh, five times 12, that is uh, divisible by 6. And then um, 7 times 14 is not, so we don't have a 3. So that's not sufficient. Some cases work, some cases don't. You also use, to represent an odd number, you could do 2q plus 1. That represents an odd number. So you could say it's 2q plus 1 times 2q plus 1 plus 7. So 2q plus 8, well, that could, well, th th that'll always be odd. Um, that'll always be even. We know we have a 2, but we don't necessarily know we have the 3, and that's the issue here, and not all these. Some, we always have the 2, but we don't necessarily always have the 3. So yeah, 2q plus 1 you can use to represent an odd number algebraically, So, but that's not sufficient. Number 2, when k is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. When k is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. So k equals like 3 times a number plus 2. Okay, so if we put that in for k up here, 3q plus 2 times 3q plus 2 plus 7. Well, okay, this is going to be a multiple 3 no matter what. 3q plus 9, 3q plus 2 plus 7. And then this is 3q plus an even times 3q plus an odd. So one of those will be even, one of those will be odd. So we get our multiple of 2 there because one of them is it has to be even, one is odd. And we also get our multiple of 3 for sure from this one. So we have a 2 and a 3 is a 6. So that's sufficient.